We have had a number of cold nights in the teens and our water froze up. It's definitely a beautiful winter wonderland out here. Our water tank itself is 2,500 gallons and we keep it full this time of year because it's a wet season. We do have ice that has built up on the sides. It's not very thick, it's probably a half inch at the most and we have about a two inch layer of ice on top of the tank. The water pump and pressure tank is inside this insulated box with a little heater that comes on if needed. Also have some emergency equipment here in case I need to pull water directly out of the top of the tank like I had to last year. This is all done fine and not frozen. The pickup from the pump runs underground here, which that isn't frozen up, and it goes up in this insulated section and then into the top of the tank. And actually, we have heat tape here, so that keeps this warm, and the section of pipe that goes down into the tank actually stays thawed out just because the heat from the heat tape seems to uh, cause the water to circulate in the pipe and keeps it from freezing. The part that actually froze is the coil I have inside the tank. The loop I have inside the tank that allows the pickup to go up and down with the level of water is actually what froze because it elevated itself above the ice for whatever reason. So when this thaws out next year I'll actually either weight it or cut it a little shorter or something so that uh, it can't rise up above the water level and get into the ice level. An obvious solution to this problem would be to make the penetration into the bottom of the tank and have the coil work in reverse. That way everything's either below grade or below the uh, top of the tank and it would never go through the air. However, I don't like the idea of a penetration in the bottom of the tank. I'm not exactly sure the best way to seal it with a solid PEX line. I'd rather not put any joints, although I could. Um, it's just a, just a uh, risk of freezing and bursting. Um, Whereas the PEX that goes through there, it may freeze up. Um, it's not gonna burst on me and not gonna cause me to lose all my water. Another option I thought about was using a uh, pump inside the tank or a bubbler. However, I like the idea of ice being on the top and on the sides because ice actually is an insulator and it helps keep the water in the inside warm, just kind of like it does with a pond. Um, once it ice is over, it does take a while for the ice layer to build. And of course it never gets very thick. Um, you know, and you've just got a lot of, you've got all that water below the surface that stays water and doesn't freeze up. The correct solution to me is actually kind of obvious. If this was going to be my permanent water tank for the rest of time, um, build a building over it. Make a windbreak. Um, right now it's nice because the sun lays on this side on the sunny days. In the winter time it does when we have no leaves on the trees, and that actually helps put a lot of heat into the tank. The plan is in four or five years to stop living in a camper but live in a house and I'll probably have a different water system for that and this will end up being emergency water for droughts only and we will dump it in the winter time. Won't have to worry about any freezing up in the summertime if it's only for drought usage and with it being empty in the winter time there'd be no risk of freezing. Random solar power fact in the middle of the video, if it's bright enough out it'll actually melt the snow as it's landing on the panels. The only time that doesn't happen is at night, but if it's bright enough or if it's uh, cold enough, the snow will fall off and if it's bright enough, it'll melt off. So that's pretty cool. The only time I have to do maintenance is in the morning after it's been dark. If that water system were to totally freeze up, we have a bunch of emergency options. We have a creek that's running this time of year and we also have a pond now. So we could definitely get uh, livestock water from the pond. Um, I would have no problem drinking the water from the spring fed creek. I haven't used this hot tub in a while, but we also have this water in the hot tub and it has stayed completely liquidy, probably because of the ground contact and the insulation on the tub itself. Oh, no, I said it stayed liquid only, but I see a tiny amount of ice forming, very, very thin. So yeah, this was true actually the other day but it is very, very thin. It doesn't even, 
Doesn't even shatter. The other thing we do this time of year is actually have food grade buckets that we store water in and we put it inside the tub here. I've also got a pot of water. So when the water's running and we know we have a cold spell coming, just in case, we can easily go a number of days without water. We even have some other buckets here for livestock water. And we have a 15 gallon pot of hot water on top of the wood stove. So that's really good for thawing out icy dishes and anything else. The colder it is, the more I run the wood stove and the more hot water I can produce. We have made significant improvements from last year's water situation where we had our water system in the cabin and a pipe that was above grade a fair amount. And I kind of thought that the sun would lay on the building and keep that metal warm and keep the pipe warm. And it worked most of the time, but we had a two week period with no running water. And I did have to climb on the tank, bust the ice and siphon water out. It wasn't a big deal. However, this year I didn't want to do that. And so I buried the line and got, I actually upgraded us to a uh, pressure tank and a pump. And it saves us a ton on electric power because we just had a pump and pressure switch and if you would run the water for uh, 30 seconds or if you run the water for even 10 seconds it would kick that on and it would try to fill the whole line with pressure again and so you couldn't just trickle water you really just wanted to run all your water at once and so we essentially operated out of buckets all of last winter and this winter we're able to just turn on and off a little bit of water at a time at the tap and we only froze up for about 24 hours and it's actually thawed right now, um, but we only had 24 hours of freeze up so far and it didn't really affect us uh, at all. Thank you guys for watching, appreciate all your support. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, like it and uh, drop a comment.